hello guys hope you are doing well there in this video uh, I will show you different band combinations in satellite images when you are doing image analysis for remote sensing purpose I have been using this uh, ArcMap software GI so software for this purpose you may need to learn this software sometimes if you are interested please uh, click the red subscribe button down there and click the red bell icon and click the bell icon to get the latest video notifications video updates tutorial updates and other things to you watch till the end of this video to learn something new to see something new and don't forget to share this video with your friends and hit a like for this video comment what you need more okay then let's get started right you may already have see what i am going to do using this pdf file right today i am going to use the landsat 7 band images to see the different color combinations so now i am going to add my data hope you already have experience few experience with this arcmap software i want to add this band 1 2 3 4 up to seven so what i am going to do click on this and press the shift button and click here then it will automatically select all the things that's the tip number one for you today right then you can add your data let's learn this something new right i will about to break down this video into uh, four videos because today's tutorial is too much long for you so today just I am showing different color combinations, true color combination, false color combination and few other things I will show you including image analysis toolbar. Right, okay now the satellite images have been added into your table of contents. So tip 2 is the you have to uh, this expanded. Right. So I want to collapse. What I am going to do? Press Control button and click on this minimize icon. Right. Again, press Control button and plus mark when you want to expand and collapse. Right. Also, all the seven bands have been selected already. So I am going to unclick it. Right. So I have selected one band, band one, band two, band three, and band four. Likewise right what do you need to see you can see when you go to properties of this uh, satellite images the format is tiff tiff file dot tif you can see the value range is between 0 to 255 now okay now i'm going to go to properties to see the basic details of this uh, satellite images these satellite images belongs to my country covering up some area of the northern province right so when you go to this uh, source tab and general tab you can see different tabs are available for today I will show you the source tab you can see the how many columns and rows available in this raster file you may already know tiff is a raster file and the number of bands only one band we have selected and the cell size 30 by 30 uh, source type generic 8 bit unsigned integer values are available okay right i'm going to cancel it then i will show you another details of another satellite image the same somewhat different columns and rows cell size and all the cell sizes are similar for all the bands right when i'm going to untick these details you can see okay right I will show you tip number three. I'm going to press control and click this here. All bands will be unselected. Again, press control and plus. Right. Likewise, we can select and unselect all the things with the help of control button. Right. Okay. Then I will I want to select one layer. Right. You can see this layer. I will select all the things first. Now I am going to unselect. This is the first layer, band one. 
now you are seeing the band 2 likewise now you are seeing the topmost layer band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 band 7 and band last one you are seeing band so you may need you need to know actually band 1 2 3 you may know already know sometimes i'm telling this for the the other people band 1 2 3 are visible in the, are in the visible range because these 1 2 3 satellite images are taken under the visible range right that means visible wave and the rest of the bands 4 5 6 7 are belongs to the infrared range right so 4 5 6 7 satellite images were taken uh, in the range of infrared waves right so we cannot see uh, anything in this uh, in, the, in color all colors are black the lowest value is black 0 and 255 is white so now we are going to composite that means now I am going to collect all these bands together together one single image to see the true color you can see very good contrast black and white color but we need to for the image analysis we need the different colors of different land features including water sometimes make clouds and vegetation and the soil sometimes right to do that you have to find a tool called composite band if you are interested in learning more videos please check the description section I have provided the necessary links for those uh, videos I have already uh, created several video tutorials on this ArcMap software if you need to know please check the uh, my playlist and you need to find composite tool com composite bands right so this is the tool which you need to collect all these bands together right I'm going to click on this composite bands you have to wait some time in the meantime I will show you I will tell you black means water sometimes vegetation very very good contrast white means sometimes clouds that means all the lights will reflect when at that time the image will be in white color right okay now I am going to add all these band to this input raster you have to add in order right composite bands tool you have to wait for few seconds just wait be patient right and then band 2 band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 band 7 right now we have to set output location I will show you all the connections and here I will save it as uh, composite L7 band set 7 7 Yes. On, sorry. On the site. Dot DIF. That means we need to form. Right. Just click OK. We have to wait to run until composite band done its job. time hope you all sometimes you may know about this identify tool right you can zoom in if you want to know the details of a particular cell what you need to do 
just click on this identify tool you have to zoom into the pixel level now you can see the pixels right when you click on this pixel you can see the pixel value and stretched value sometimes there is another tip for you tip number four go to properties you can set uh, go to dip display and set show map di map tips always click put a click here and apply ok right now when you are moving here and there your arrow you don't need to click to see the details right it it is always showing map tips that's an additional tip for you whether it is raster or vector you can use this map tips right i'm going to disable it for now still the composite band tool is running if you want to see how it's running just uh, go to windows tab no sorry go to geo processing tab this is tip number five during my tutorial i'll try to teach you something new still we didn't get the output though right go to click here and see results in the current session you can click on this plus mark you can see composite band still running so you do need do not need to get straight just wait let's see otherwise video is will be too long okay right we get the output i'm closing the tabs here i'm going to this is our output and set seven composite and with the zoom to layer now we do not need uh, now we do not need these bands so I'm going to remove right remove now we are working with this image so this is the composite image what I was telling that uh, I want to show you the different band combinations and including the image analysis first I will show you the band combinations go to properties and go to symbology here you can see RGB composite red bands green bands blue bands uh, why we need bad combinations when we doing image analysis we work with the ground features and different things so we need to clear uh, the satellite images are showing the true images, true uh, geographic features. So that's why we need to, when we are doing image analysis, we need to check with the ground samples, right? That's that is the one purpose, right? When you are working with RGB bands, we can set uh, false color combinations and true color. That means, in other words, natural color. And also there is another color combination. Uh, first we go to false color combination uh, we have to set red as band 4 green as band 3 and blue as band 2 4, 3, 2 color combination as false color you can see apply and 4, 3, 4, 3 2 now you can see the false color combination in different color. When different bands assigned for different color, we will, we will get different color image. Right. At the same time, I will show you the image analysis toolbar. Go to Windows and go to image analysis. Right. You will get the image analysis toolbar. All these features. Uh, still disable because you have to we have not select the image that you want to analyze and click on this image then all the things will be uh, activated right you can change uh, you can see the changes right brightness black and white level by clicking here you can set it as zero also you can reset the brightness change the brightness using the image analysis also you can see transparency of the image 
Sometimes you may need these different properties when you are doing image analysis. And what is this uh, DRA? DRA means uh, dynamic range adjustment. When you put a click and when you zoom in, it will automatically adjust the dynamic range. When you zoom out, the color is changed. When you zoom in, color is changed. Right. That is dynamic range adjustment. And there is other things I will show you what are the purpose of this video using another tutorial. Then I will show you true color and in other words natural color combination. Right. Go to properties here and you can set 3 to 1 combination. Band 3 for red, band 2 for green and band 1 for blue. Click apply and ok. So this is the true color combination that is very much essential when you are doing image analysis because this is the sea in water, water bodies. You can see blue colors in water body, green colors in vegetation and something like that. The clouds, clouds are in white in color and the ground somewhat into gray and other similar colors. Right. We have turned on the dynamic range adjustment. That's why it's becoming uh, some something different you turn off the dynamic range you can see the true color combination right okay then other things also i will show you we can set uh, band 6 and band 4 band 2 we can test different band combinations actually right you can see what has happened right most of the time we use true color combination and the false color combination. Like and you can see the different color combinations. But the most of the time we use those two. Four and three. You can see the difference. Right. Okay, I hope to be back with a new tutorial for you. If you are interested please share this video with your friends and comment if you have anything to ask please hit a like for this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notification as soon as possible i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye